trying to beat the sun up. Grinding hard for mine to see a meal before my sun's up. All I'm saying is I'm trying to get my funds up. Gotta stay strapped. Kiss these niggas. Hey, everybody. We are back. You guys know what it is. This is Run It Back, and this is season two. You know, so we, we made some upgrades in the off season, so now we're ready. So like I told you guys, when we bring these guests on, you're not going to be short of a history lesson and a fun-filled experience as we talk about basketball and life through the eyes of the presenter, the person that's sitting next to us. All right, so this week, without further ado, this, is not, this, this episode is not short of anything from the past. We got this week no other than Mr. George, a.k.a. Pig, Washington. How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. yeah. <laughs> Glad to have you, man. Glad to have you. It's such an honor to have you sitting here um, to be able to chop it up with you. You know, I know you personally, but, yeah. you know, some, some of the people out there in the world don't know about your your upbringing, your background, and, right. you know, some of the damage you did on the basketball yeah. court back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, my damage. <laughs> my damage. Yeah. Yes. So what we're going to do, we're going to just pretty much delve into, you know, how it all started and how it all panned out for you. All right. All right? Um, so, you know, like I said, you know, how it all started. Um, and, and we're going, like, like, from the younger years. Like, what, right. what drew your interest in sports itself? Well, basically, like, when I was younger... You know, my mother had died in 1973. Okay. And I was living with my father, and uh, we didn't get I didn't get along too good with his with his wife. So he he said I had to move with my grandmother. Okay. So we we're living in the projects. So my grandmother lived. We called around the circle. Around the circle. And so I moved around there, and then I got interested in playing basketball, and that's how it started. Mm. And I continued it for you know from there. Yeah. So, I mean, I grew up on, and this is on Long Hill, yeah, Berkeley? Yeah, Berkeley. All right, yeah. so for those who don't know, like you said, Around the Circle. Yeah. If you're from the Hill, you know it Around the Circle. Right, is. right. <laughs> Cir- around the Circle is people in, on one side of one mailbox. Side, mailbox, and the people on the other side of the mailbox, but you couldn't go on that side if you didn't live on that side. Right. So we call it Around, around the, circle. the Circle. Yeah. So it's a little bit of friction oh, from yeah. the sides yeah. on the Hill. Definitely, definitely. We couldn't go around there. They couldn't come around our yeah. side. So when they had to go to the store, they had to go all the way around. Oh, they had to go around. Yeah, they had to go all the like way around. Like near Wilson. Yeah, yeah, not basically Wilson. They had to go from the from the basketball court. Cut through up, the woods. Yeah, cut up and go. But oh, okay. they couldn't go. They couldn't come around where we was at. You know, wow. We wasn't allowing it. <laughs> they wasn't allowing us around there either. Right, right, yeah, right. It was, always, it was always a big, big thing. It was a big thing. Yeah. yeah. Now, from your side... Um, who would you say was some of the, you know, the ballers on the side you came up on? On the side, I was like Buddy Beeman. Okay. Buddy Beeman. I say, uh, definitely me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a few of, let's see, Major Hill. Okay. You know, Major Hill. Major. Yeah. Uh, Dale Mitchell. Okay. Dale Mitchell. And uh, people don't know, Ralph, Ralph Andrews. He died. Ralph oh, Andrews, Andrews was, yeah, Ralph Andrews was, he was real nice, you know. Oh, really? But he, he got out of basketball, but he was real nice. Okay. You know, and, and around the other side, they, they had the, they had basically Stevie Johnson, Clay Johnson, oh. Honey Eason, you know, they had a good squad around there. Okay. So we oh, they to, all was around there? Yeah, they was around there. Yeah, they was around the other part of the circle, and yeah. we used to go at it. We used to go so, at it. So, so... Now, did you guys play up the club or at the cage at that time? No, it, the cage wasn't there. It was oh, the just, cage no, wasn't even wasn't there. there. The cage wasn't even built. We used to go up the club called the club. We used to yeah. go up the club and play up the, the club. The rec center for those yeah. who don't know, but yeah, yeah we, we called used to the, go club. Up the club because they built that later on, uh, the basketball court later on in the years. But they just had a one pole and a basket. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. And uh, so they had to come around there with us. They had to, so y'all had yeah. to give them a pass to come yeah, and play some ball. Go, yeah, until we like we played down the uh, called down the hill. We played Walnut, mm-hmm. Orange Street, stuff like that. So we all come together then. Okay. And we played play them, and it's like rivalry. Rivalries you know? down yeah, the hill. It's rivalry <laughs> down the hill. You couldn't go down the hill. No. Nah. No, you couldn't go down there. You got to get a pass to go down the <laughs> hill. 
You got to get the pass, man. Wow. So, I mean, if you had to put a time frame on it, is this like the early 70s? Yeah, it's the early 70s because I, I moved with my grandmother in, I think, like 74. Okay. 74. Yeah, then I, because I wanted to go to Crosby. Okay. But I I didn't live in the Crosby district, as you call it, Berkeley. Certain people. Yeah, went to Crosby went and to Crosby. Certain went to Kennedy, certain went to Wilby. And I wanted to go to Crosby. Okay. But they wouldn't let me because I lived around the circle. So gotcha. I had to go to Kennedy. And, wow. Uh, yeah, and I didn't want to try out for the team till my junior year because the people from down the hill yeah. didn't like the People from Long Hill, so I couldn't try out. <laughs> you know, I could have tried out, but it would have been friction. It would have so, been friction. Yeah, so, so I had to wait. So, okay, did you play in any um, other organized um, tournaments, leagues, oh, yeah. prior to high school? Yeah, they, like Pearl Street, switched it to Summer Sound, is, was ranked in the country. Yes. Everybody in the country heard of Switched it to Summer Sound. Exactly. And, um... Berkeley, Rest in peace to Hubie. Yeah, Berkeley won the championship, and they hated that, man. Oh, we, man. We had so-called dropouts, you know. <laughs> we played, we beat Sly Williams, we beat Wes Matthews, we beat Corny Thompson. Oh, your Rick squad? Mahorn. Yeah, we beat Rick Mahorn, Bill Eason, uh. Uh, Ziggy Williams, all these guys from New Haven. And, and, and all, you know, so-called superstars. Right. And we had the regular... Long Hill dropouts. Oh man. man! So who, if you can name some, who was in your squad back then? Gilboy Sands, Urban Sands, Casey Jones, Honey Eason, Del Mitchell, Buddy, myself, yeah. Toby Harrison. Tobe. Tobe. Yeah, he played the old. He's from the OP. Yeah. yeah. And we had a we had a squad, but we were like, Hubie hated that we won that because did. <laughs> this is unlimited. This is this is the pro league. This is the oh. pro division. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, we, and how old are you guys? Man, Toby was uh, 17. 17, yeah. playing with the pro guys. Playing with the pro guys. We were the, I think we were the first two. They said Mustafa was, but we was way before Mustafa Heron. Okay. You know, they say he was the first high school guy to play unlimited, but it was me and Toby. You and Toby? Yeah, me and Toby started. Wow. Yeah, we started. And um, we won the championship, man. Wow. And we, uh, matter of fact, we beat... Uh, we we be Sly Williams team in okay. the championship. Yeah. Uh. Now what's the crowd like? Is it like oh, a, it a crazy. lot of people coming to the man, games? And- it, it's, it was crazy, man. The whole Waterbury, all the all the so called hustlers, and, yeah. You know, gangsters and all that. They're betting <laughs> at thousands and thousands of dollars, man. And they always bet Berkeley. Really? They always bet Berkeley. Wow. Yeah, man. They like Lim and all them guys, man. They. That was the big time guys back in them days. But yeah, they bet Berkeley because yeah, you know that we, was always bringing it. We bring it, we bring it. We had nothing to lose. Yeah, you know, and well, plus we was good. Right. Yeah, but they, you know, they went out of went out of state to get people. Man, they went all every. I believe every college person, uh, Rob Foster, all those guys, man, that played for the Phoenix Suns and the Knicks and all mm-hmm. them, they all. You know, it was on squads and and because uh, Pearl Street was the was the thing back was, then. Yeah. City Mills and Lakewood, and then when Hubie brought it up to uh, Columbia Boulevard, yep. it kind of like faded out because people couldn't get up there. Okay. But when it was in the neighborhood, it was, man, every game was packed. Man. Every game was every packed. Every game was, couldn't wait to play, man. Couldn't oh wait. man! I used to be in. My grandma made me go to church every Sunday <laughs> and have a game. I'd be like. Come tell, when, the, when the preacher gonna stop, man? Yeah. Like get up out of here, man. Man, yeah, but man, we had a ball, man. Now, we how many ball. years were you able to play for uh, Pro Street? Uh, I played Pro Street since I was like fourteen. You know, so they have it was called Phase One, Phase, phase Two. And, okay. Yeah, you had yep. the grammar school, mm-hmm. high school, and unlimited. Okay. I played all three. All three. Yeah. I played okay. All three. Now, yeah. were you able to um, like some of the guys that you played Pro Street with? Were you able to play in different leagues with them? Yeah, like Hubie used to bring us to uh, Philly, Pennsylvania. Okay. He's, he used to have like a traveling team. He used to bring us all. He, I got to give Hubie credit for that. He used to bring us a lot of places. Oh, okay. So, a he, lot of places. so for a lot of guys at that time, um, that was your way out of yeah. Waterbury to see yeah. different cities yeah. and different states and stuff but like, like that. But like I said, everybody wanted to play in Pearl Street. Everybody. You could you could go out in the street now and ask about uh, Pearl Street. Oh, yeah. Man. Pearl Street was the thing. And here's the thing, too. Um, you wasn't just paying your money playing. You had to 
You had to like make that team. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah you don't just get on a team. <laughs> you wasn't just gonna get on a team. Get on team. That's what I liked about Berkeley because we all. You know, we used to play at the club together. Right. And we used to get it in up there. Had that hard floor. Yeah. You know, and <laughs> we just play all day. As soon as we get out of school, man, just play. And I used to, I couldn't, I was playing with the little guys. But then one day, they didn't have enough guys to play with the big dudes. Okay. So they said, yo, you want to play? I'm like, what? You wow. know, And uh, Honey Easton picked me. And, honey uh, Easton. Yeah, Honey Easton. But was he me. considered like one of the big older guys yeah, back then? Yeah, okay. yeah. He was like considered one of the, you know, the older dudes that, you yeah. know, bullying us and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, get off the court. Yeah. You know, that kind of stuff, man. But, uh, your time's up. Yeah, your time up, man. We'd be mad, but then once I started playing with them, I got better. And be honest, you know, my father used to dig a hole. Okay. And, and so they get in that hole. I like what, and he used to make me jump out that hole, man. That's how I learned how to jump, cause I ain't had no money to go to the Y. Really? We used to go to the boys' club every now and then, but they ain't like Long Hill. Okay. Yeah, you know, Berkeley. You okay. from Berkeley? It's, it's you gotta over. go. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> go. And so we used to just my father just dig a hole, make me jump out the hole, jump out the hole. Uh. That's how I learned how to jump. Now, how old were you when he started doing that? Uh, I was like twelve. Twelve. Yeah, my father was strict. My father, like when I used to play for North the Rams, <laughs> I play for North the Rams. I miss a tackle. <laughs> my father, be all, you know how to get that that drink. Yeah, come on the field. My oh father, man, yeah, my father come on the field. You come on the field. On the field, and that, matter of fact, we were playing in a a tournament, and it's called the, the the Ramsey tournament in Torrington. Okay, and this was when I was in high school. Me, Wes Matthews, Corny Thompson, Stevie Johnson, Clay. I mean, the, all the big time Waterbury and uh, Connecticut. It was Connecticut okay. versus Massachusetts. Okay. And we was, we were losing. Oh, man. And my father, <laughs> my father <laughs> came in the locker room. <laughs> do, 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 you know, and I was embarrassed, man. They said, but dude, like, yo, man, I give you credit, man. I, your, your father came in there, man. I respect him for that, you know. Yeah. And then we went out there. We got we did work. Oh, y'all turned did, it up. Yeah, after we that? turned it up after that. But my my father came in there. My father was <laughs> he wasn't shy. Yeah, no, nah, he, he wasn't, wasn't shy. shy. He ain't nah, play. He shy. No, he ain't play. Mm. And, um, so you think he felt like if you're gonna play a sport, you're gonna excel? Oh, in yeah, sport. no. If you play, you ain't quit. There's no quitting. You yeah, know. No quitting. No, I I played football for I think like a couple of weeks. And uh, <laughs> this this was I was with my father. I was with uh, I was at Kennedy playing football, like and on that, the team. Yeah, I was on I was a, I was playing varsity on Kennedy football team, and they had a guy named Freddie Jones, <laughs> and he, he was he was mean man, <laughs> and he, and I didn't go to practice one day because they was having a football game up the hill against down the hill. I said, man, I'm playing in that. I'm playing in that. I ain't going to practice. <laughs> so I turned around, look, Freddie Jones coming up, walking up. He left practice. So where Piggy at? They call me Pig. So where Piggy at? So he on the, he come practice. He up on the hill. He came up there. And when I seen him, I jetted. And he chased me. Oh man! Chased me to my house, but I couldn't get the key out. You know, because I was nervous. <laughs> I couldn't get the key out. And by the time I got the key out, he put his foot in the door. And my grandma said, "What's going on? What's going on?" He said, "He ain't supposed to be at practice, Miss Washington." My grandma will take him. I was like, no, Grandma, don't let him take me. <laughs> don't let him take me. And he took me back there, man. I quit after that. So I was so scared. Yeah. Every time it got like quarter after two, I'll leave school. Yeah. You know, cause to school. Yeah, I ain't going to I, practice. No, nah, because he come at 2.30. Oh, quarter man. Quarter two, I'm out, man. I'm out of there, man. <laughs> and I ain't never played football after that. that oh, was, that, that was, was it. That was my last football game, man. That was my last football game. Oh, yeah. man. So how old were you when... Um, you caught your first dunk. Oh man! Well, we used to get a um, a tennis ball, uh -huh. or, or well, sometimes we could we have a tennis ball. We get a beer can, beer can, and you 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 know you dunk with the beer can, beer can. Then you get the tennis ball, then you get the beach ball, you know the volleyball. Yeah. And after that, I think I was like, I was fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, like fourteen. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so you're still rel relatively young. Yeah, yeah. That's why, because like from that digging, my father digging that hole, 
that's why I, you know, most people jump off two feet. I did the glide, you know. Okay. I did, I jump off one foot, do the glide, and mm. I used to put it in. Wow, so you're about 14. There. Yeah, 14. I used to, now, were there other kids around, like, that age that was able to oh, dunk yeah, too? Oh, yeah, yeah. Clay Johnson. Oh, they was able, he was Ralph able to Ralph Andrews. It was a whole lot. I mean, like I'm saying, the guys that don't get no notoriety. It was a whole lot of dudes up there that, that could play, man. But they play. just didn't have the school smart, you know. Yeah. So they didn't go to school. They could have made a team. They could have made a team easily if they yeah. went to school, but they didn't go to school. They didn't go to school. So, yeah, so. Wow, okay. You know, I had to go to school. My grandma was strict. <laughs> <laughs> now, so you didn't play in, like, any middle school ball or anything, did you? Yeah, I played for Carrington. Oh, played? I, yeah, I played for Carrington. I was the first black because Carrington, they bust us from Woodrow Wilson. They bust us. That's how oh. we started going to Window Cross. Um, okay. And all the other schools, Carrot yeah. and Bunker Hill. So uh, they bust all of us. And um, they, I went to Carrington. And they never, I don't think they seen a black before. Really? But when we got there, they was like, he's, these are black people, these black people. And um, so I played for Carrington. Wow. And, and, and uh, like all the other guys played for Bernard, uh, Sprague. Okay. You know, all the yeah. other schools, you know. Cause they bust us, you know. Yeah, they bust they, us. They, they closed Wilson. They closed it. Oh, they closed Wilson back then. Yeah, they closed Wilson because we we never lost the championship. You know, the grammar school, like the the rivalry was Driggs, Wash, and Woodrow Wilson. So at what point though? Because I hear a lot of people talk about Slocum. Yeah, Slocum. Yes, I, I forgot Slocum. I forgot so, Slocum. Yeah. So Slocum, Slocum a lot of the, you know, yeah, P. City P. Eason, step, yeah, yeah, they, they all went to Slocum. Rodney Parker, Daryl Parker, yeah, Clay, Stevie, they all went to Slocum. Petty, but yeah, it, it, it was like it was four schools. It was uh, Slocum, Wilson, Driggs, and Wash. You know, okay. every year fighting for the championship. Every know? year. Yeah. So they was like, we breaking this up. Wow. Yeah, so they they bust us and. To all the uh, you know the other schools. Now, were you playing for Wilson before? I didn't get a chance to try out. I was, that was my first year grade tryout, man. Oh, I was okay. excited, man. I'm trying out for the team, you know, yeah, get yeah. Me a uniform. But <laughs> they bust us, man. I think we would won a championship every year. You think so? Every year. Every year, y'all. Yeah, we won a championship every year, man. <laughs> Till we got tired of winning. Till you got tired. Till <laughs> so we got tired of winning it, man. I'm serious. So okay, so you go to Carrington. Yeah. Do you play on the team? Yeah, I play on the team. I, like I said, I was the only black guy on the team. No, nah, my mistake, Guy Riddick. Guy Riddick, guy oh, okay. Riddick. Yeah, Guy Riddick. Shout out to Guy Riddick. Yeah, okay. Guy Riddick was on the team, too. Grace yeah, Baptist. Me and Guy Riddick, yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, only two blacks on the team. Wow, now, did and they was, give y'all? No, nah, you know, nah, we, we didn't get that much run. Well, I started. Okay. I started, but Guy didn't start, but... I'm not going to say, but it was kind of prejudice back then, you know. Yeah. Kind of prejudice and, you know. And you had to deal with that, what, two years, three years? No, I was from, um, I graduated, I was, the first, I was the first black male to graduate from Keratin. My sister was the first black female to okay. from Keratin. Yes, I think it was from uh, fifth grade, fifth grade. Fifth, fifth, fifth grade? Sixth, six, seven, eighth. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. So, so from there, are you think, are you thinking, was it a a, a, a slew of high schools you was thinking about, or you? No, just, I want to Crosby. Crosby. Crosby was downtown where the police station was at. Yes, old Crosby. Wilby was down Will Street. I mean Grove Street. Off of Grove. Yeah, off yes, of Grove. Yes, yes. And all the girls was at Crosby and Wilby. Okay. You know, they wasn't at Kennedy. You they know. wasn't at Kennedy. No, then? Crosby. So I want to go Crosby. Plus, okay. it was right downtown. You know, all the fellas. Yeah. You know, but they wouldn't let me go because because my address was uh, seventy here circle. Okay. And the, the Crosby District was like one forty one, uh, building one twenty seven, one fifty nine, right. stuff like that. So, but that's crazy how um, same neighborhood, but same they broke it up into like up. different buildings yeah. went to different yeah. schools. Yeah, yeah. I, but I understand. Peanut Flemings went to Crosby. And we lived in the same building. Same building. Same building, man. <laughs> Peanut Flemings went to Crosby. Oh, I could, man. man. I, I couldn't, I couldn't, couldn't get over that one, man. Now, do you think if you went to Crosby, would it have changed? Um, like, you think you would have still been the impact player? Oh, yeah. I okay. ain't bragging or nothing, but, yeah. 
Uh, definitely. So Mr. You still- Brown, Mr. Brown want, used to tell him, I want George. Okay. Want, yeah, because I had heart. Yeah. You know, I, I had heart. You know. Now, what position did you play back then? Where, Kennedy? Yeah, like what was your all of them. what was your basketball position? Like point guard, shooting oh, guard. Oh no, I was, Oops, I was forward. forward, small forward, small forward. Yeah, okay. But I played all of them because, like I said, it's all about heart, man. And we played Crosby. They bullying my team, man. And I'm yeah. like, come on, man. I gotta call timeout, <laughs> yo, man. Yo, <laughs> I gotta call timeout, man. <laughs> Play Will, but they bullying my team. <laughs> and then, I'm like, yeah. come on, man. Same dudes that we play with all, you know, after school, you know, right. But you couldn't go down Wash. You couldn't go down Wash. You couldn't go up Wilson. Like people down there couldn't go up, come up Wilson. And we couldn't go to Wash. Well, we couldn't go to Pearl Street. Okay. You know, called the Q. We the couldn't Q. go to the, the Q. Q. House. Yeah, with yep. Tony Hanson and all that. Yeah. Yeah. So mm-hmm. okay. So now you 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 want to go to Crosby. Yeah. But because of your district. Yeah, I had to go you, to Kennedy. You had to go to Kennedy. Right. Now. What's your mindset? Are you excited? Like, all right, I nah, can't wait nah, to. Nah. I mean, I, when it became basketball season, I told you what happened with football. Mr. B- uh, Freddie Jones made me forget about that football. <laughs> but then I, basketball, I knew, you know, I knew I was going to, I ain't going to brag, but I knew I was going to be the man. Well, actually, I wasn't the man. Beanie Butler was the man. But he okay. he got hurt at the beginning of the season. And, um, and this is your freshman that, year? No, this is my junior year. I didn't play freshman sophomore because they wouldn't let me. So, who who, who Kennedy? Or? No, the guys from Wash School wouldn't let me. <laughs> <laughs> the guy from Wash School wouldn't let me. You know, Wait. I mean, they, it wasn't that they couldn't stop me, but I would have to fight them every day. You had to fight you know? them every day. So you was like, yeah. forget I was about like, that. Forget about it, man. <laughs> then my junior year, I was like, man, forget this, man. I'm the man. You know, yeah. I became the man from the the summer league. So even though you're not playing high school ball yeah. at that time, yeah. you're still playing Pro Street and all yeah. that. Yeah, we used to go um, up Chase Park House. And, okay. Uh, we couldn't go to the boys' club. I told you that. Yeah. And we used to go up the club and little little area places, man. Now, are you like is at that time? Is people like you know? Come on, George, man, you should be playing with us, or you yeah. should be at Crosby, or you yeah. should be at Wilby, or, yeah. you Definitely. know, do you, do you hear that a lot, yeah. even though you're not playing? Yeah. Do you hear that? They, they, they wanted me, they could ask me to try to transfer. I even tried to transfer. They wouldn't let me transfer. Oh, um, really? Yeah, I tried. I tried to get to Wilby. I tried to get to <laughs> uh, uh, Crosby, St. Hart, all of them. You know, they, I guess I was from Berkeley. And yeah. Berkeley had a name, you know. Right. No, uh, he's too, you know too ghetto. You know? <laughs> yeah, too ghetto. If you yeah. all right, if, now if you got to think yeah. back at that mm-hmm. time, with your playing style, mm-hmm. out of all those schools, what you think? I know we in, you ended up at Kennedy, but yeah. what what school you think would like like best serve your playing style? If you would and you would excel team wise, oh, will be. Will be. Yeah, because that will be the running gun. You know, no plays. You know, uh, just just go. And that's that's right up your alley. Yeah, that's right up my alley. Man. <laughs> <laughs> just go. Yeah. Who did, where did we have at that time? They had Dale Saunders, Jay Sane. Yeah. Okay. Guys. Oh, yeah. Jay Sane was playing there. Yeah, Jay Sane was playing there. Yeah. And they was pretty good though. Yeah, they was all right. They was, yeah, pretty, they good. was pretty good. Yeah. Um. Now, your junior year. Yeah. What's your preparation? You know, I know you said, all right, this is this is my year, but yeah. what is your preparation over the summer? To build your confidence to be ready that junior season. Oh yeah, season. playing in the summer league and and going to different towns and playing. You know, we go like Harford, Keeney Park, mm-hmm. Golf Street. You know, go to Ansonia. Yeah, you know, go all over and play all over, and then playing little leagues and stuff. Uh, and, are there some things that you did to like work on your game, or what are some yeah, things? Yeah, I have you to play on? all the time. I mean, I, this is no lie. This is no lie. I have no reason to lie. I was squatting five hundred pounds, man. Squatting five hundred pounds. Five hundred pounds. I was weighing one eighty. One eighty. I was squatting five hundred pounds. Rob Generali used to bring me to Norm Gym, Chips oh, Gym, all of them, and bet money that I could squat five hundred pounds. Wow. Now, anybody in Waterbury tell you I, could, I used to squat five hundred pounds, man. Five hundred. Skinny pounds. as I was, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's a, wow. Yeah, I used to do that. I used to warm up with three hundred with Bootsy. Yeah, yeah, Chris, Chris Davis. Davis. Yeah, he'll tell you. I seen him at um, he was doing a show. Okay, he was at the Marriott, 
pig, man, I see a lot. Then he started telling people, yo, he used to squat 500 pounds. He used to squat 500 pounds, <laughs> man, yeah. Wow, so that yeah. was your thing, squat. Yeah, yeah, I could squat, man. Because I, I had no money, you know, my grandma couldn't afford it for me to go to the Y and all that. Yeah. You know, so I had to do what I had to do. Right. You know, I had my little weights in the house and do yeah. my thing. Okay. Yeah. Do you th now looking back now, obviously squatting that contribute to yeah. your extreme jumping ability. Yeah, yeah, that digging that hole. Digging that hole. That digging started that hole. it. Yeah, digging that hole, man. That was the thing. Man. That started it. Yeah, digging that hole was the thing. Yeah. So now you go into now a junior yeah. your junior year. Now on the court, you know what I'm saying? This is your yeah. first year. Yeah. Are you coming into a system that already got players that's ready to play that well, I came in there and I walked in the door. <laughs> I let them know <laughs> it's my team. It's my team. Well, I walked in the door, man. I, after that sophomore year, waiting behind Pop Baskins and Jude Robinson and all them, when I, my junior year, I was like, yo, man, it's my time now. You know? Your time. Plus, I, you know, playing with, with the older dudes and, yeah. you know. So, so you felt like you was ready then? Oh, I was ready. Yeah, I was definitely ready. Now, how was your how good was your was your team? Oh, we wasn't that good because I <laughs> I ain't gonna put it on the coach, but I, if we'd have had a better coach, I think we would did better. But but um, it's, it, like I said, it's all about the heart, man. You know, dudes on my team, I, I love them to death, man. But I, they just like when we play them guys, we play them schools like Wilby and mm -hmm. Crosby and them, and they start like, that bullying. Now they 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 choking. Okay. You know, like, but we had one guy, Calvin Ferguson. Okay. Now he was, I call him Hawk to this day. Hawk. Yeah, he he was an incredible Hawk. He was an yeah. incredible Hawk for real. And like, we want to follow somebody to, to time out. Cal, go in there and follow this dude. <laughs> Cal, go in there and put it on him. He put it on yeah, him? Yeah, he was big. He was big, man. He was huge. Wow. Yeah, he was huge, man. Wow. Yeah. So, so. So you said your junior year, you guys didn't win a lot of games? Nah, nah. How did you do, though? Well, I did I did all right. I made the uh, second team, all city and all NVL, and I was upset about that. Because so I didn't know nothing about that, you know, the all city and all NVL and all that. If I made second team, and I was upset about that. So I said the senior year, you know, I'm going to do my thing. Well, that second team, you you know, you were still in some good company with that. Uh, yeah. Cause that was your junior year. You had Chris White, yeah, uh, Bob Condrotus, yeah, Condrotus, um, yeah, and then you had uh, well, those, well, both of those from Caner, yeah, and then you had Piggy Williams, right, from from Crosby, right, and you and Bill Ramonas yeah. from Wilby, yeah. Um, but I want to be first. I want to be first team. So, <laughs> so after that season, you know that season's done. What's what are, what are your mindset? Are you trying to recruit players to come over or? No, nah, I was like, that's the year. Like, we, what are you gonna do to like change? That's the year. I, well, I got up and practice every day, man. I got up and practice. I practice every day. Sun be hot. I practice, practice because I, you know, I wanted to be the man. Senior yeah. year, I wanted to be the man, mm -hmm. and that's what that's when we won the championship for the summer league, you know, and that's when man Toby was starting. Um, Unlimited. It's called Unlimited. Oh, that year? Yeah. After your junior year, yeah. that summer? That, that summer, man, yeah. Got you. I, I became friends with Toby because I wasn't friends with Toby because he lived up the old projects. Okay. And, you know, we couldn't go up the old projects. They yeah. couldn't come down. And they couldn't come down. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> but me and him became friends. Wow. And I said, Toby, man, let's play play with us, man. You know, mm -hmm. Toby said, all right, because they was trying to get us to play with other teams, but me and Toby said, we're going to play with, with Berkeley. With Berkeley. Yeah, yeah. Wow, so Tobe was a dominant big man yeah, too. Yeah, Tobe was my man. Tobe's still my man. Yeah. yeah Tobe was yeah, Tobe was nice. Tobe was nice, man. Wow. Mm -hmm. So it's it's like with all these divides, especially on the hill, you got yeah. you divided three ways. Yeah. Um how are you guys able to, you know, kinda like come together? What's those moments where you is it at Pro Street or is it kinda nah, like Nate Pope. Okay. Nate Pope, he was the coach. Okay. Yeah, he was Nate Pope. He was cool. He He's, he didn't take no mess either. You know, you had to comb your hair. You couldn't play if you didn't comb your hair. You had to comb your hair. Yeah, you had to comb your hair. <laughs> you had to, you know, Nate Pope was, we had one play. One play. Number three. 
<laughs> yeah, we had one play, man. Number three. Yeah, we used to play with these guys. We had got some guy. Polk had knew some guys from Harford, uh, Blackwell and Tisdale. Okay. Man, I never seen nobody shoot like them dudes, man. Really? Maybe Stevie Johnson. Maybe uh, Stevie Johnson. Stevie. But yeah, but they was, you know, and they give us that confidence, man, because, yeah. you know, they used to playing in the Rutgers and all that. Right, man. They, right. They came down with school and me and Toby. You know, man, y'all could be good, man. Y'all just got work at it, man. Don't be letting nobody bully you and all, yeah. you know. And, man, we we click. And that's, we, when, that's yeah. when you and Toby click. That's what, yeah, man, Toby clicked, but the whole team. The whole know, team clicked. The whole team, you know, we just got together, man. So, yeah. yo, man, let's show Huey, man, that we could win this, man, because we were so-called the, the misfits, you know. Got you. And um, we came together, man, and every time Berkeley played, man, the whole Waterbury. Yeah. Black, white. Everybody. Everybody was there, man. Everybody. Summer League was, summer league was the Summer League. Now, if you, if you had to, you know, go back and – you know, everybody ball. You know, they got traditional ball, but who were some of those ballers that put on the show? That's gonna, you know, they might get a little razzle dazzle. Like, who would you? Just Johnny sit? Kid. Johnny Kid. Wes Matthews for sure. Okay. But Stevie was just a natural. Stevie, Stevie wasn't flashy, but Stevie was a natural. Okay. He, you know, Stevie he can was score. Can he dunk? Could he? Oh, yeah. Can Stevie what? dunk? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And we had like Casey Jones. You know, every now. And then, you know, every now and then somebody do something, you know. Yeah. Crazy. But, uh, so, and I say that to say, um, you know, as years went on and, you know, different generations of ball, right. like, a lot of people look at, like, guys like Phil as, yeah. you know, one of the greats, you yeah. know, because, you know, his ability in to his be era, flashy. In his, era, or, in his era, yeah. In his era. Yeah, but he wasn't no, he wasn't no Wes Matthews. He wasn't no Wes Matthews? No. No? Nah. No. Nah. Phil, Phil was good. I take nothing from Phil. Yeah. Phil in his era, Phil was the in man. His era, yeah. He was the man. But not, I mean, it's different eras. Different though. eras. You yeah. know, they can't be saying who's the goat here, who's the goat right. there. Because it's, the, it's different, the different eras, eras. You know. Yeah. But like I said, Stevie Johnson. Stevie Johnson. That's all I got. I you mean, would say now, would you say Stevie? Is it a cross between Stevie and Matt Wes Matthews for that era? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Definitely. Yeah, but Stevie was a pro baseball player in grammar school, man. <laughs> so, man. man and no, no lie, man. I'm telling you, the Mets, the Yankees, George Thompson, all of them came up Berkeley looking for that. This wow. is grammar. This is grammar school. Grammar school. Stevie Johnson was that good, man. Shoot. Never practice. Never practice. Never practice, man. Never or practice. or he was natural. Or maybe he practiced when people wasn't nah, watching. Stevie was just Stevie was like a clown. Okay. Like, like they had like Jim Ireland supposed to have been the main man because he played for the Atlanta Braves. Okay, Stevie had been at Fort Park. I tell you, I'm, I'm gonna hit it over the fence. <laughs> <laughs> and hit it over the fence. Wow. Jim Ireland was pitching. And Stevie the man. I'm hitting over the fence. Wow. Stevie, you know, he was a baseball player. Yeah, he was a baseball player, man. Wow. Can't take nothing from him. So yeah. now you going into. Your senior year. Yeah, senior year. I'm, you zoned can't tell, in. Can't tell me nothing. Can't tell you nothing. Nah. Can't now, tell me nothing. How's your team? Now, did your team get a little better? Got a little better, but they go that hard again. <laughs> they go that hard again. You know, that's why I wanted to go to Crosby. Okay. You know, because I know if I got with them dudes, you know, we all hang together, you know. Right. Drink our little triple peach, you know, <laughs> drink our wine for the game. Yeah. Shoot, man. Yeah, we'd have been, or will be. Or will be. Yeah. But man, we the we won the states, I know that. Yeah? Yeah, we won the states, definitely. Who would you say was your rival back then? Uh Toby, Dale Saunders. Those the ones you rival like Bob would well, go ahead and uh, Bob Sacred yeah. Heart. What, what Bob, Bob Sacred Heart? Heart? Yeah. yeah, Bob. Yep. Yeah. Chris White. Kaner, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. at this time we got um You got Clay at Holy oh, Cross. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, oh my God. Can't forget I, Clay. Yeah, can't forget Clay. No. Clay, <laughs> Clay was quiet, though. You know, Clay okay. was quiet. Clay, Clay, Clay didn't, he could have been flashy if he wanted to, but Clay was quiet. You okay. Know, me. You wasn't quiet? I'm, you know, I'm me. You know, I'm me. <laughs> Girls there. Come on, man. <laughs> got my new sneakers. <laughs> now, now, what sneakers are you guys wearing pro, at that time? Pro kids. 
Pro kids. Pro kids. Five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. Pro kids. Man. Wow. To this day, Chris White was jumping forty four inches in high school, and he never bought a pair of uh, them high price sneakers. Here to this day, he wear Chuck Taylors. Wow. Nineteen ninety five. But they cost more now. But back then, we used to go to Beaners and get uh, Converse's. Chris yeah. White jumped 44 inches. 44 inches. 44 inches. I'm not exaggerating. They got a ruler and, and measured it, man. Wow. Well, his brother Mark White probably was jumping 45 inches. Oh, Mark was getting up oh, higher? Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, those were some jumpers, man. Yeah, they was, they was born to jump, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they was born to jump, man. <laughs> For real. They was born to jump, man. Wow. Yeah. That's, now, that's some, that's some hops yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, some hops, man. <clears throat> yeah. You were saying before, like kind of like off air about um, the pro guys. You uh, you guys are getting them like Uniroyal. Yeah, yeah, Uniroyal. So, right by, him. We go up to we sneak up the old projects. Okay, and get them from Ralphie <laughs> Butler. Yeah, you know, five dollars. <laughs> get some pro kids. Get some pro kids. Yeah. But at that time, Converse was Converse was the main. just coming out. Yeah, Converse was popular, but you know, nineteen ninety five was a lot of money, man. You yeah. know, not unless you work summer job. Right, you know, so we right. had to get the pro kids, <laughs> and that's what I wore pro kids, man. Pro kids, yeah. Wow, yeah. it's crazy when we go back to like looking at what people wore to yeah. play ball in back yeah. in the day, as opposed to all these fancy, yeah, type of shoes with the cushion and all that yeah, that they that's, got that's now. That's you didn't all, have it that. It don't. It don't matter if you could jump, you could jump. If you can't, you can't. I don't care what kind of sneakers you put on. Man. Sneakers ain't gonna help you. No, because I'm telling you, Chris White, mm. the 44 inches, man. Wow. I mean, flying in it, man. Flying, man. Then you had Martin Pruitt. He Martin Pruitt never okay. played high school because coach never liked him. Really? But they used to call him Dr. Dunk. Dr. Dunk. Dr. Dunk. Yeah. Mm. Man, he could dunk. Wow. Yeah. So what were some of your highlights um, your, your junior year? I mean, your senior year, sorry. Uh, shoot, man, dunking on everybody. <laughs> I mean, do you I mean, okay? Do you remember a dunk in particular which you caught somebody? That oh was yeah. Like, well, what that that wasn't that wasn't in. Um, I dunked on Chuck Alcinas. He's seven three, seven two. Chuck Alcinas. I dunked on Jay Saunders. He's seven feet. He caught me in it when I when I came down. He caught me. Said, "Man, you dead wrong, <laughs> man." Yeah. Now was this a, now what league was this? this high this, school? No, this was this was, a, it was Chuck Alcinas was high school, in mm. Pearl Street. Mm. And Jay Saunders with Pearl Street. Pearl Street. But I don't care who it is. I don't care who it was, man. <laughs> wow. I said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Because it's you don't think about it. You just do it. Man. You just do it. Yeah. Now, would you say that your game was primarily the dunk? Did you, did you develop yeah, like a little jump shot? No, I had like – my base shot was old-fashioned. It was a hook shot. A hook shot? Yeah, that's what I had. That was a shot. shot. Yeah, they – it was a hook shot, man. I'm serious. That's kind of a hard and shot. It, it seems easy, but nah. you got to time that. It's a half gotta... hook. It was a half hook. Half okay. hook. But I don't think nobody ever, I think, I don't think, I think Chris White might have blocked it one time. Okay. Yeah, threw it out the park. What about yeah. Dale? Dale Saunders, he, he get up there. What? Block, block what? Block that hook shot. No, that ain't happening. <laughs> that wasn't happening, man. No, that nah. happening. No, nah, that wasn't happening. <laughs> I ain't bragging, but that wasn't happening. Okay. I ain't okay. gonna take nothing from him, but that wasn't happening. He wasn't blocking that. Nah. Okay. Um. No. So, how do you guys? Um. And what would you say like your toughest opponent, where you had to guard and they had to guard you, in yeah. high school? Like oh, that's Clay. Your senior year, Clay. Yeah. That was the toughest one. Yeah. Clay. Now, what made those games? Because man, Clay used to practice every day, together. Together. Yeah. Okay. Man, we, every day. And Clay was my toughest, man. Yeah? Yeah, I would say Clay. Wow. And and it's like Clay had that that Stevie Johnson era with him, too. Yeah, because so. they, you know, like, they automatically knew they was going to get Billy Finn because Stevie got it, Clay was going to get it, Brucey was going to get it because, you know. You think it was automatic? It was automatic, man. It was automatic. I don't care if you scored 99 points. It was automatic. <laughs> it was going to be automatic, man. That's how I was with the Summer League when I knew I was supposed to get it. Like the Summer League? To, yeah, and, and I was supposed to get it in high school too. But uh, they gave it to Toby because they gave it to Spence 
for phase one. Oh, then they gave the Toby, Toby for, for phase, phase two. two. And everybody was pissed about it, you know. But that was Hubie thing, you know. To Spence get it. Toby get it. Okay. Stevie, Clay, Brucey, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. He, he go by the, the, the basketball plus, here. I'm from Long Hill. <laughs> he hated Long Hill, man. Hear me? Hated but, Long Hill. But man. over the years, though, hated. the Hill has produced some of the greatest yeah, teams in Pro but he hated Long Hill. I don't know what what we did to him. Mm -hmm. He just hated Long Hill, man. Yeah. Even when we won championship, man, he, he was so pissed, you know, because he promoting these – so-called pros and all that, and, and the misfits come up there <laughs> and win it, man. Yo, yeah, Do, man. Can you recall, like, your best game that you've had? I don't know. One game I had seven dunks. Seven dunks in one yeah, game? one game, yeah. My coach told me, stop dunking. He said, don't do it again, I'm going to take you out. <laughs> went, honestly, he said, if you do it again, I'm going to take you out. Wow. Said, man, come on, man. It was just torture. Seven dunks? Yeah. Thornton known for having some big guys. Yeah, Did they have a big guy? LeRon Williams. Okay, yeah. Murray Williams and all them. Even yeah. Jay, uh, which, they son went to the Nets. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah but Murray. Nets. Murray's the big, the, the, the big one. The no, LeRon. LeRon. Okay. Yeah, LeRon. So yeah. did you have to face those guys? Yeah, then? yeah. Them, them my fr we became good friends, you know, as yeah. the times went on. But, you know, I had to do what I got to do. Wow, yeah. you had seven dunks oh, against yeah, Thornton. Yeah. That ain't nothing, man. That, that ain't nothing. They used to... Like they used to say when we used to play like um, Pearl Street, and if somebody get a fast break. They say, "Pick, go get them." Cause I was fast. <laughs> they say, "Go get them," and I go, I run them down, man. I run uh, them down. Now, did you have? Now, how was your defense? I don't know about all that. No, I, was, <laughs> I don't know about all that. It was a little light, little a little light. light. Yeah, it was a little light, a little light, man. Now, would you? Okay, now would you? Would you would you say because of your hops you was able to get, go after that ball blocking shots? Oh, or, I, could, I was fast, just rebound? man. I ran track. You know, I ran track. You know, and I did all that, man. I did. I, like I said, I ran track. I I was lifting the weights and I was. So fast. you ran track in high school? Pretty fat, yeah, yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. How'd you do with that? I was long jump trip. My like I said, my son, uh, ranked number two in the country. Wow! Yeah, number two in the country, man. When he was in Baltimore. Okay. In the long jump and the triple jump. Mm. Yeah. You did that too? Yeah, I did long as a triple. But I could never be Hank Spellman. Kaner. Never could be Hank Spellman, <laughs> man. For some reason I could not beat Hank Spellman, man. Really? Yeah. And the and that's in the long jump? That's in the long jump, high jump, triple jump. <laughs> <laughs> could not beat Hank Spellman. Couldn't beat him. <laughs> no. No. Or Pony Teasley. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't beat them dudes, man. Yeah. Yeah. But you still was up in the mix, though. Yeah, I was in the mix because they had, like, Darnell Nixon and them running. Back then in the 70s, they was running 10 flat, man. Ron Harper. Ron oh. Harper and them with the Wilby. They were, they had the fastest relay team, I think, in the United States, man. Wow. Man, them, them dudes was running 10 flat. You can look it up in the book. Man, they was running 10 flat back then, man. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so they, they had some yeah. horses. They had some, <laughs> they had some horses, man. Wow. Yeah, they had, they had a good track team. Mm. But I ran track just to stay in shape. For basketball. You know, for basketball. Okay. And do the long jump so I could do the glide. To do, do the glide. Yeah. <laughs> dunk from the foul line. Dunk so, from the foul line. So, you, so, all right, so you said your best game would probably be when you had seven dunks. Yeah. What would you say was kind of like your, your worst game? Uh, I was drunk. Let me see. Well, I... Uh, Maybe Wilby or something like that because I was drunk. You was drunk? Yeah. I was drunk every game. Every I, Come I never on. played sober. Huh? I never played sober. Never? Never, ever. Not one game? Not one game. Ever. How do you sober. do that? You would think that if I you drink, appeared. We used to chip in, get a pint of triple peach or mad dog. Okay. And drink it and go play. Yeah, I never played. You and, like, the rest of the players or just you and maybe, like, Me and my boys, you know. You and your boys? Yeah. I never played sober. And it never impacted your game? Nah. I I, I never played sober. Mm. I Man, I never smoked weed and none of that. But uh, I, I just, we used to drink, you know. Yeah. Like, that we used to watch it together and say, Washington ain't going to make it today. And I'd be walking to the game, drinking my wine, and when I get there, I play. And it didn't do nothing to your body. Nah. You wasn't tired or nothing. Nah. Ready to go. Ready to go. Man, because the wine wore off. 
<laughs> yeah, man, we had fun, man. Wow, we so fun. so you said like so your junior year, you made second team. Yeah, yeah. um, but now your senior year, yeah. yeah, you got that first team now. Yeah, I got that now. Yeah. Did you realize it says uh, nineteen, the nineteen seventy six seventy seven season is the first time in thirty three years that the all city team featured player from five different schools. Yeah, that's so, what they said. So that had um, Ken Kozlowskis. Ken Kozlowskis. Right. From Toby, Sacred Heart. Toby Harrison from Crosby. Clay, Chris White from Caner yeah, Tech. Clay, Clay from Holy Cross. Toby. And you from Kennedy. Right, yeah, right. Wow, yeah. that's good company right yeah, there. Yeah, we, yeah, that's the team he took to uh, Pittsburgh. Oh, who, Hubie? Or? Yeah, Hubie did. To, oh, that, the, the, that's, that's five. Yeah. That's five right there. And we played against a guy named Sam Clancy. Okay. He played for the Cincinnati Bengals. Well, he ended up playing for the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah. The biggest deal I've ever seen. Well, Dale Dawkins, too. You know, we played because Dale Dawkins and Eric Dawkins, his brother. Mm-hmm. That, but, but Sam Clancy was the biggest dude that i ever seen. Really? Yeah, way bigger than Dale Dawkins. Way bigger. Yeah. Dale Dawkins high was big, school, This high school I'm talking about. Wow. That dude, man, was huge. He ended up playing for the Cincinnati Bengals. Okay. So you can tell how big he must have been. He was playing defense. Yeah. For the Cincinnati Bengals. My name was Sam Clancy. Wow. Yeah. How did y'all do against them? We well, we we had some guys from Hartford too. We had Robert Lee, Duffy Jernigan. You know, here we here we got all the best in the state. All the West best in Matthews. The state. Oh, all y'all the, all on the same team. All on the same team. Yeah, we all on the same team. Oh, when we man. traveled to Pennsylvania. And, we had a good time, man. Yeah. Clay, yeah, Stevie, Chris. Okay. Yeah, Toby, uh, Wes, Duffy. We had a good team, man. Mm. Robert Lee. All of so them. y'all all, did y'all, you know, did y'all show yeah. proof out there? Did yeah. y'all do your thing we, out we there? We represented. We represented okay. Connecticut. Yeah. We represented. Uh. Mm-hmm. So, all right, so as you concluded your... Your senior year. Are you thinking college or what, what nah, was on your mind I, at the I, time? I, I wasn't thinking no college. It was this, it was this guy named um, George Strobel. It was, a, it was a white guy. He owned it three factories in Cheshire. Okay. And my uncle used to work for him. And he was he used to tell my uncle, he, he didn't know my, that was my uncle. He was like, I want to meet this guy named George Washington. My uncle was like, that's my nephew. He was like, no, nah, that ain't your nephew. He said, I'm telling you, that's my nephew. He said, I want to meet him. And he, he was going to pay for me to go to Fairfield. He wanted to buy me a car. He wanted to buy me a car. He wanted me. He was going to pay for me to go to Fairfield because that was an alma mater, whatever you call it. Mm-hmm. And um, I was like, nah, man. I said, nah, man. Because I, you know, I, I never been away from home. Mm-hmm. You know, like, so I said, nah. And he stayed in touch with me for a long time, man. He stayed in touch with me for a long time. But he, then he, went, he said, well, what school you want to go to? He was gonna pay for it, so I ended up giving him my trophy. You know, uh, I ended up giving him the trophy that I won. I gave it to him. He put it in his uh, his office. Really? Yeah, George Strobel was his name. So, do you, okay, do you, how far do you think your career could have gone? I, honestly, man, I'm talking. About, thinking I, about I'm talking about honest, man. Being honest, I could have been. I, I know I've definitely been overseas. Definitely. definitely? Oh, oh, definitely, man. Because I had the game. I had the heart. You know, and I was I was just like people would come to see me play because they know I'm gonna do something, yeah, do something special. I definitely could have went overseas, definitely, man. But I was scared to leave Connecticut, man. That's what happened to a lot of people in Waterbury. Mm, There's a whole lot of talent in Waterbury right now. You know, got the wrong guidance and scared to leave. That's the main thing. I was scared to leave when they when I went to Colorado to the Junior College of Colorado. Mm-hmm. I was scared to leave. They had to put me on the plane, man. I was scared to leave. Mm. Plus, I only had $100. Yeah. You know, I'm, go, I'm leaving with $100, going away to Colorado. So what was Colorado? Uh, Colorado was a junior college. How'd you do out there? They wanted to know where Connecticut was. So- <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, soon we get in the warm-up line. <laughs> I'm going to show you. And after that, they knew where Connecticut they was. They knew where Connecticut yeah, was. Yeah, then the guy begged me to stay. He begged me to stay. But I was homesick, you know. Mm. He begged me, man. He called my grandmother like, like for a month straight, man. What? Please tell him to come back, cause I'm. But I was, you know, 
I was homesick, man. Wouldn't be with my boys and stuff. But I was when I was there, I was I was the man. I told you they they called Daryl Daryl Griffin. A lot of people know who Daryl Griffin is. Daryl Griffin. Dr. Dunk. Call him Dr. Dunk. Okay. And they they wanted me to dunk against. Remember I told you his, yep. um, his, his cousin wanted me to dunk against him. I only had the ten thousand dollars. Oh, he, so he wanted to, he wanted you to dunk against him yeah, for ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars, but I didn't have it. Yeah. Okay. I didn't have it. Wow. Uh, yeah. And this is what school in Colorado? Lamar. Lamar. Lamar, Colorado, man. And when I was there, it was this baseball. You know, for the, the year before I got there, they had a rivalry with a lot of Mexicans. Okay. And when I got there, we was they you know go to the club, and I I didn't know they had a the beef. Okay. And um, this they were shooting. And uh, I'm ducking, you know I'm ducking. Yeah. And one of the baseball players, he played for the Red Sox. Well, not now, but he, he got drafted mm -hmm. for the Red Sox. He got shot. Wow. And um, he was screaming, and I dragged him and back of the piano. And um, his mother came to the school, who's George Washington? I want to talk to him. Anything you need? I was like, anything I need? <laughs> 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 yeah, and, yeah, but I saved his life. Yeah, I saved his life, man. <clears throat> but they didn't want me to leave, man. And the coach was like, like we used to go to Texas and all over. They was like, like he's the man, you know. I was the man because I. It was a lot of guys from Chicago, L.A., Detroit, you know. That. Yeah. Then they were Connecticut. They're like, where's Connecticut? Mm. Y'all want to know what Connecticut is? <laughs> Hold up. Let me get my shoes. <laughs> Let me get my shoes. Let me get in this lamp line. Let me get in this line. You're going to see what Connecticut is. They, they know what Connecticut is. And to this day, they they still remember me. <laughs> to this day, they still remember me, man. Wow. Yeah, man. Um, would you, if you had to, you know, sum up your career, your basketball career, mm -hmm. how would you... How would you rate it? What would you? Say? I I, I kind of messed up, man. I, Cause I could have, I could have, I could have been something. Mm -hmm. I really could have been something, man. But being in the streets, mm -hmm. not having no mother, no father. You know, my mother died. My mother's only thirty three years old when she died. Mm -hmm. And you know, I ain't have no guidance, man. You yeah. Know, be honest. Be honest with you. I didn't even know who my father was until. I'm gonna tell you this: the, the day I found out who my father was mm -hmm. was a war night. War night. A war night. Like they give the seniors yep. the trophies, mm -hmm. and um, Clay mother then was out there. Chris mother then was out there. Yeah. So they called me, and they're like, anybody? Uh, the parents for George Washington. My mother was dead, and my father, who I thought was my father. I mean, we we weren't talking. Okay. So I'm out to half court, and this dude come walking on the coming walking on the court. So I'm looking at Clay. I'm like, who is this dude, man? Uh huh. You know who is this dude? What? I'm your father. I'm like, man, you must be crazy. Get out of here. And that's how I found out who my father was. Wow. That day. That. And I ain't day. gonna tell you what I said to him, but yeah. That's how I found out who my father was. Wow. Yeah, Jim Clary. Jim. Jim Clear. Jim Clear. Jay Clear is my brother. Wow. Yeah, Jay Clear is my brother. Yeah. Wow. You find yeah. out at a war night. At a war night who my father was. He's, he's pimping out there. Too. <laughs> I'm like, yo, man, who is this dude, man? <laughs> yeah. A stand-in? I'm George Watt, the father. I'm like, hold oh. up, man. Give me the mic, man. <laughs> Give me the mic, man. Who is this dude, man? Yeah. Wow. That's how I find out who my father was. And did you know Jay Clear at that time? Nah. Because he became pretty good in ball, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah, he ain't no George Washington, but yeah, yeah. that's what I found out. Wow. Yeah, them, them men, Jay, became close, you know, gotcha. as years went on. Yeah. Not me and Jim, me and Jay. You and Jay became yeah. close. I think I spoke to him, like, maybe six times in my life. Jim. Yeah, six times in my life. Really? Mm -hmm. The wow. day that he said he was my father... That day. I gave him five more shots. That was <laughs> it. <laughs> I gave him five more shots, and that was it. Man. Yeah, man. Wow. Yep. Um, and, and, you know, as we look at, you know, Denzel and stuff mm -hmm. like that, you know, it seemed like you made it your business to be a presence. Yeah, man. At whatever, you know, yeah. the kids is doing and yeah, to be well, involved. We, you know, like, we, we being honest on the show. Yeah. I, I, I fell into that drug you know, thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I got like 15 years clean now. Yeah. But yeah. I fell into that drug thing, man. 
and I could have been a better father. And like I think if um, I was a better father, Denzel would be in the Olympics. Mm. Denzel would be in the Olympics because even though I was messed up, yeah, I was still pushing him, pushing, pushing him, him pushing him. Yeah, because Lance was into the MMA and all, okay. he was into the MMA and all that. And uh, but Denzel was the athlete. Denzel was and an athlete. He, Denzel was a swimmer for Sacred Heart. Mm. He was all state swimmer. Wow. All American in track in high school. All everything in high school. Did football. Football. He did play football. He and and he was a ranked number two in the country. In um in in long jump. In long jump. jump. Number two long in, jump the country. in the country. Yeah, you could Google it. Wow. You could Google. Now, is this the is this the, the time where he was kind of injured and? Yeah, he got hurt, and we had drove all the way to Iowa. Me and my wife drove to Iowa in the car. It was wow. the Nationals, and he was ranked number one. He was ranked number one he then? He was ranked number one, but he got hurt. But since we drove up, took us a couple of days to drive there, he said, I might as well participate because yeah. my parents came. And he came in second. He cried because he didn't want second, you know. Wow. Came in second. but uh, Came yeah. in second, injured, and still came in second. Yeah, came in second. You could Google it. Yeah. Denzel Washington, Montgomery College. Yeah. Denzel Washington, Montgomery College. Yeah, man. Y'all yeah. Google this at home, y'all. That's right. You know. Because, I mean, if I, like I said, the the drug played a big part in it, man. Mm -hmm. You know, I can speak on it now. Yeah. You know, because I'm clay. Right. You know, I don't drink. I don't smoke. Nothing, mm -hmm. you know. But I could have been a better father to all my kids, you know. Yeah. But, I, but with Denzel... I lived with Denzel. See, my other kids I didn't live with. I lived with right. Denzel. Even though I used to drive Denzel to school every morning. I used to make Denzel lunch. Okay. I to, you know, I never missed a practice. Okay. I never missed another practice. Football, track, oh, you did. You did everything. I was at everything. Drunk, you know. <laughs> drunk. They yeah. knew I was there because I'm like my stepfather. Yeah. You mess up, I'm coming down. I'm coming up. Yeah. <laughs> you coming I down just, there? Yeah, I used to jump on the field when he played football. I, Y'all ain't passing on the ball? Let me get down here. No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, let me see what's going on here, Ortiz. <laughs> oh, man. Crazy or something? Yeah. Wow. He broke his finger one time. I ran on the field. You ran on the field? I ran on the field. Yeah, they was the police. They had me back up, man. My son, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm, wow. But if I, yeah. And then myself, too, like I said, like a lot of people in Waterbury, man. They they fall into the wrong thing because because back then when we was young we want to be pimps, okay. You know they yeah. we looking up to the pimps, you know we and they telling us, y'all man y'all got to go to school, y'all got to go to school man. Nah man we want that money. Want that money. You know and like I said I never played sober. Never. Never ever. Never ever. Wow. I used to get hustle up, pint of wine man, drink it, walk to the game. I used to walk. walk up Kennedy from Berkeley. That's a long walk. I used to walk up in the snow. Ooh, I used to walk. That's the truth. <laughs> that's on the walk, other side of town. You yeah. walk on the other side of town. I used to walk up Kennedy High, me and Clifford Hunter. Mm. And sometimes your father, Eric. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> your father, he, he'd tell you how we used to, because he was one of the, he, he got to be the best drummer in the state. Mm -hmm. Your father's definitely the best drummer in the state. Yeah. And we used to bet. Who who the best drummer and who the best basketball player? <laughs> and, I mean, he would brag about me, I brag about him, and, yeah. and we go at it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, pig, man. You, you know, for for the for the viewers out there, you mm -hmm. know, we view you know everybody in the city view as pig. Yeah. Um, but you know, this is George Washington. Um, but I have to say, man, I, I I thank you for your contribution to the sport. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Um, when you look at some of the dunkers in the city that came after you, you know what I mean? That's like mm -hmm. a, you know, a lineage from your tree. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? A high flyer going oh, yeah. in the game and as oh, that, yeah. you know, the, the generations yeah. go on. They still talk about it. They still talk about I it. on the street. They still, they yeah. still talk about it, man, to this day. You know, I, mm -hmm. I got one story. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're going to wrap it <laughs> yeah, up. Okay. Um, <laughs> as a token this. of our yeah. appreciation, we like to award you this. Um, jersey right. on the counter, run it back. Yeah, oh, here you go. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, this this means a lot to me, man. Cause this yeah. is memories, man. This, yeah, this is memories for me, man. And you I, can show the camera to yeah. people with you, and I can pass it on to my son, 
I could pass this on to my sons, man. And, and for our viewers, man, thank you for tuning in mm -hmm. for another episode. This is our first episode in season two. Right. So thanks for tuning in and continue to tune in as we're going to be bringing great episodes, you know, as you see today. Today, yeah. was this is like a classic. So yeah. in a history lesson, I always tell you guys, you know, when we sit down with these greats, it's a history lesson. So you can go get your pen and pad and take some notes, you know. We, we talk about the good and the bad, you know what That's I mean? Right. But you can grow from both. All right? So stay tuned, you know what I mean, for another episode. But thank you all for joining in today. Bye.